And we all, I think, want to be happier. I think that's a lot of why people are here tonight. You know, you want to help other be people be happy, but we're under a lot of stress in our, in our lives now, and we all want to be happier. And you're here to tell us that there's some science around this, and there are some things, you know, money, to some extent being one of them, that, that can actually help us be happier. So if you don't mind, we'll work through those now, and we one at a time, because we want to leave here happier. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I saw we wrote it in the promotional material, so they have to leave here happier. And, and as we move into this, I think your point is that w while you'll be giving examples from different um, uh, professional applications of this, personal applications, but really it's about yourself being different, that this, this applies and changes everything in your life if you start to do these things. If it weren't possible to change your life, but more importantly, change the lives of the people around you and the communities you live in, then we'd probably be wasting our times here time here. But what is magical is the extent to which when people take their experiments out of a constrained environment and open up the doors, they find that big change is possible. Yeah. I love your idea of experiments. Just pay attention to how many times he says that, because this isn't about getting it right necessarily. It's about just trying to Absolutely. be a little bit different. Yes. So let's start with money, because we are definitely in our culture convinced that if we had more money, that we would be happier. And, and so what are you here to say to us as individuals about that? Uh, the increasingly, the data show uh, that uh, there is a very significant effect that on average people, countries with higher levels of material support uh, are happier, and ditto across individuals. But it can't be very big, or otherwise being 20% richer in British Columbia than in uh, Newfoundland, mm. uh, we'd be happier but we're not, and it isn't as though people aren't trustworthy and friendly here. They're just a little bit more trustworthier and connected and friendlier. And that little bit difference between the social life in, in uh, Newfoundland is more than enough to offset the economic material effect. Mm -hmm. So that tells you, even though there's a very significant effect of income, it's small relative to the other things that matter.